to the special meeting of the budget committee um, we're here tonight to um, go over a town council proposal for the over expenditure on the mcintosh well project before we do that though i'd like to start the meeting with the pledge of allegiance i pledge allegiance to the flag of the united states of america and to the republic for which it stands one nation under god indivisible with liberty and justice for all All right, real quick, as far as roll call, I know Mike is not going to be able to make it tonight, and neither is Meg. Um, did not hear from Gail or Larry, so I will follow up with that. But um, if I guess we want to get started, I mean, Steve and Sean, if you guys want to go over this with us, and we'll go. Okay. Um, we have a situation, I think, if you've watched <laughs> the council meetings. Um, first, thing I want to start off with that w this is not a, a normal situation by any means. I've been involved in municipal government for almost 20 years and this is the first time I've ever had a situation like this. Um, what we're requesting is to overexpend the uh, water uh, Macintosh well uh, project budget from the water surplus in the amount of $795,000. We just for history on the project the Macintosh well uh, it's a we've been working on trying to find a source of water in this community for a number of years mm -hmm. uh, in the mid to late 90s they shut down the water plant just uh, it was actually um, 2004 Four. okay we shut down the water plant. we shut down the water plant so it took away one of our sources of water for the community uh, since then we've been operating off of two wells in town the Bennett and the Sewell we had been trying to find another source of water uh, for all that time and other uh, options on to, to try, try to replenish um, reserves as well. In 2010, 2010 to 2011, the council went forward to the voters for the first bonding authority to develop the McIntosh well, which failed. They went again in 2012 uh, 12 for the town meeting. Again, it failed. And the council decided in late 2012 to put on a 2013 ballot another bonding article for 2.5 million dollars to de develop the Macintosh well which passed the cost of that bond is not going to affect the water rates since this is not sewer doesn't affect that anyways but the purpose back then is still true today that any payment for that is not going to increase the water rates when in, at that point in time the town hired a company called Weston and Sampson to provide us an estimate for our engineering that's how we came up with the number of $2.5 million. They came up, they had an estimate for that. You can't go out to bond, you, you know, it's always the chicken or the egg, which comes first. You gotta go out to bond, you gotta have an estimate to find out how much money you need to go out to bond and then come back with final designs. So that's why we are where we are. Um, after that, the council requested that we solicit bids for final design engineering. We did not pick Weston and Sampson at that point. We went with another firm called Hazen and Sawyer. And in, they began in early 2014 and basically designed throughout the year of 2014. <coughs> early 2015, we were notified that they believed that the numbers that were provided by Weston and Sampson were incorrect, that they were under. We decided that before we go further and try to have this because this is the last step if in case of a situation like this let's see what the construction bid comes back and see how much we actually may need so we went out to bid in early 15 and we received the proposals in June, June 25th. and immediately when we had that we noticed that Hazen and Sawyer's estimates were correct that they were all the original Weston and Sampson proposal was under budget before we went the next step, we even had a third engineering firm that had, did not put in for the original bid, um, Wright Pierce, who's doing our wastewater plant coincidentally as a third party, uh, just to review it. You know, you have two firms, vastly different numbers. I want to see what's the, uh, the right ones. And Wright Pierce agreed with Hayes and Sawyers and their figures. So where that left us was that the project was going to be $795,000 uh, higher than what the bonding authority was. We informed the council in July that this was the situation. 
and we had the first re reading of the resolution in August. Uh, the second one was, the, and the vote was last week, and the council unanimously approved it to authorize, to ask DRA. We're not authorizing anything at this point. We're asking DRA. DRA is the only one that has authority to uh, let us overexpend the line item, and it cannot come from taxation. Luckily, we have very, we have healthy water fund balance, and we were able to withdraw from there, and this is the situation where you do when it's an emergency. Uh, so they, they requested from, they're going to request from DRA that we withdraw $795,000 from our uh, fund balance. At, and the Municipal Budget Committee has to approve that as well and agree with the, the request. You know, the questions have been coming up, like, was it just, was it inflation? There was some inflation. There was some delay. Um, but you know, it just, we believe that some of it was just error from the original engineering firm and we, when we switched, we found that out. Uh, just for what we've spent to date, or initially, the first part was the land purchase. We had to purchase land. We did that through eminent domain from Cromit Creek LLC and that cost $87,937. Advertising for that was about $1,377. PSNH, we had to bring electrical service to the site. That's $113,050. Directional drilling, um, was 233725 and as of today, the engineering cost has been $271,700 for total expenditures of $706,089. With that in mind, um, the lowest bid price was $2,121,677 for the construction. Construction Administration Oversight, we're uh, budgeting 352000 and you always keep a contingency of 118000 That would bring us to $3,297,766, or $795,166 uh, above the initial bonding authority. Sean will have to find the $166 somewhere. <laughs> 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 so um, we've had some questions on what's this authority mean this is not allow us just to take cash and do whatever after you know if, if it doesn't come in at seven hundred ninety five thousand dollars over save which we hope it comes in at six hundred thousand dollars over three hundred thousand dollars the difference between those two numbers goes back into the fund balance we don't have authority to spend this money on anything else but this project um dra is ready for us they know we're doing this. The attor town attorneys and I have been working with the commissioner's office to get this going. Um, if this does not pass, we stop the project. We cannot do any more work than we've already done. We, we shutter it until we go back to the voters for bonding authority to another $795,000. And we, we don't need to because we have the money. It's in our, it's in our surplus where um, we can with just withdraw it and put it towards that. Do we do we have to do this now? Yeah, I mean we're we're running out of water, plain and simple. I don't have any other way to sugarcoat it. I mean we had to go down to a different level water stage this year. Um, shouldn't be watering your lawns on certain days. Just to remind everybody, it's a good time to get out there again. And yes, we are checking and we are going out there, and that's because our wells are, are dropping. We haven't. Yeah. Don't we have to be doing something with the because of the EPA or something like this for this too? Isn't there something um, as part of the state because the state. We, we don't have a backup water source? Okay. Right. I was gonna say I knew there was Either something else that we had to do. Is. Yeah. Okay. Can I? So yeah. I mean, if if we vote yes tonight and the DRA approves, what is when will the new Macintosh well actually be in service? Um, it'll probably be in service probably at the end of the summer next year. All right. So it really doesn't. This doesn't fix the near-term water. Yeah. I just don't want anyone but operating under the illusion that it well, does. I think, I think the big thing that you can take comfort, that's when you need the water the most. Because if you start to get some snow in the winter, mm -hmm. you use less water in the winter, winter, and you have some spring rains, that's generally when you're going to see the water supply deplete and you really need it. So, But, I mean, for this summer, we are where we for are. For this we summer, are. we are. We okay. are and if we don't get snow or rain yeah. in significant amounts, we'll probably be here again next the beginning of next summer. Still amazed after all this snow, this is where we are. Yeah. yeah. Just out of curiosity, do you remember the um, first uh, 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 vote that went out in terms of the, the cost of that? 
The was first it? bond? First bond that didn't pass? Um, I believe it was in 2011. Okay. Do you know the amount? I, I believe it was uh, around two point. Uh, actually, no, it was for the bigger amount. It was for actually treatment of the well. Yeah. Okay. So it would have been around 3.2. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I thought it was over 3 million when I yeah, went back. Yeah, 3.2. <laughs> Is there anything hanging out there? Was there anything in last year's CIP in the three to five year time frame that when you take this out of the fund balance, are, are we creating a, another issue three to five years in the future or? It, our revenues have been pretty healthy for water that it's been replenishing it at a pretty at a good rate. That's why we ha we're here, we are, we, we are where we are. We haven't increased water rates since. Uh, 2011 was the last time we increased rates. I think the biggest thing, that the reason why the buildup of the money is because we expected to have some of these uh, payments due already. So that would have chewed up some of the money that actually went in. The other big thing that's helped the town is we've reduced our uh, unaccounted for water. We, for the, our 25 year average for pumping is 164 million gallons a year. And with our new metering program and getting rid of leaks, uh, we on that 164 100 range, we had a, about a 26% unaccounted for water. And now we have about a 4% unaccounted for water. Well and for the past three years, we averaged about 138 million gallons a year pumped. So we're actually pumping a lot less water, but in the end, we're actually bringing in more money but that also the less pumping, less chemicals actually reduced our, our amount that for our budget is about $9,000 a year, 10,000 savings mm -hmm. on top of that. So, so let me just quickly rephrase what yeah, I, I know. You're, I, 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 <laughs> there's nothing that the yeah. fund balance was earmarked for in the no, next three no. to five it years was, that the suddenly becomes problematic. The only potential would be exploration of a fourth well if right. this one came <clears> online. <throat> and we just, we're not there yet. Okay. So. You had mentioned that the majority of this overage is due to um, a little bit of inflation, but mostly just due to just a, a bad a, a bad estimate. It's a bad estimate. I actually found a couple errors in their preliminary design report, okay. which they didn't care, they carried smaller numbers rather uh -huh. than the bigger numbers. Okay. And actually, when I did that out, it, they would have been closer to two point nine million, okay. which would have been about three to four hundred thousand off rather than the eight hundred thousand. Okay. So. So that being said, um, and you know, we all make mistakes, everybody, you know, but hopefully we learn from them. So, do you have a, a, a plan in your in in, in in mind to avoid, you know, things like that? I mean, a thirty percent increase yeah. is is um, gosh, if I if I were dealing with that with a construction project at my house, that would prevent me from being able to finish it. There are two avenues we're going down. Yeah. First is we've talked to the town attorney as well as our insurance carriers to review our options. Mm. I'll leave it at that on that yeah, one for this point. Right. The second one is my recommendation to the to town council will be that in which I'm requesting proposals right now. Much like we have a town attorney on retainer or on staff that I'm going to request that we have an engineer on staff. It's not on staff, but on retainer. Re on, yeah, retainer. We can hold certain number of hours that in a situation like this we could send it to them okay. this is across the board it's a service that's needed a lot of communities our size either have somebody on staff or have a program like this that I'm proposing um, we're gonna see what we can get for proposals yeah. um, no addition costs in this budget we have it already in there uh, engineering fees but that would have been just for projects that we would have sent out uh, single projects this would be instead we'll get monthly bills on um, engineering services for the town so that would be my recommendation go ahead um hindsight being 2020 yeah and looking backwards which unfortunately happens um weston and sampson uh, according to your timeline in 2012 they did their preliminary engineering at 2.5 million dollars um the vote i believe wasn't until 2013 so that was done before there was any bond authority? same budget season my question is, is yeah. uh, Weston and Sampson, uh, yeah, Weston and Sampson, we must have paid them for an engineering fee? We did. Did it come out of the $271,700? No. Did that come out that somewhere came else? Out, yeah, that came out of the Not budget. Not that we're going to ever recoup that money, hindsight being 2020. That goes to my first part of the statement I made. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, my second part is the, the company that we had review it, 
which is great. Uh, second opinion, second, second eyes. Um, we must have, did we pay them to take a look at it and just double check? Minimum? The eyes, T's, numbers, right addition, Pierce. subtraction. Right Pierce, we, right Pierce, we they, did not? They did it as a favor. They did? Thank you, right Pierce. Appreciate <laughs> it. Absolutely. Um, and then my only other question is, if it does come under budget and it's not 795 and let's say we use your number, 600,000, yeah. <laughs> does it have to go to the fund balance or can it go back into this fund? Can it go back it is into the, same, the water fund? Same thing. The water fund is, there are different fund balances. There's the general fund balance sure. that everybody talks about. There's the water fund balance okay. and there's the sewer fund balance and the recreation fund balance. You said general and I... No, we're withdrawing from the water fund balance okay. to do this. Right. It'll go back to the water fund balance. And then one final, you said the water treatment plant closed in 2004. That's yeah. Packers Falls Road, correct? Yes. yes. Okay. I just wanted to make people yeah. aware that wasn't the treatment plant we have now, the, the water plant. <laughs> yeah, that's a wastewater plant. Right, exactly. <laughs> water plant takes it in, wastewater puts it back out. It's back out, yes. <laughs> so. What I'm requesting tonight is you should have all received a draft copy of the letter, is that um, you'd be voting to approve the town council's proposal to overexpend sums appropriate for all purposes by the 2015 town meeting arising from the unanticipated cost changes in the MacTesh well project and the man was $795,000. And then I would have to ask that the majority, so the, those who vote yay, sign the letter and we can submit that to the Department of Revenue. And then they review that and we go from there. So I guess, the the one question that I have, I mean, I know the money's the money, but I mean, I was I was kind of asking Sean before you came in here is, what happens if we don't? I mean, if the DR doesn't approve this or if we don't pass this, I mean, what is the situation that we're in with this? I mean, where we go from bad to how bad? And I think that's what people need to understand yeah. is this could be bad. Yeah, as I said, the project stops. I We don't have authority to, we only can do if we had the funds and it says we can't do any, right. since we know there's an overage, we can't do any more. Um, as for our water levels, they're approaching, I mean, Critical. record lows. I mean, they're right now just about at the 1995 levels, and the only worst time is when we hit the drought in 2000, and we actually had to shut Bennett off and Sewell and start the water plant, which we don't have the water plant anymore on Packers Falls Road. That, yeah, it's not an option. It, yeah. it, would, it would be millions of dollars to yes. bring that back online. Exactly. The other thing for people to understand, and Sean, you've mentioned this before, that um, we are in violation and the state realizes that we are in violation but they're being kind and taking yes. waivers mm -hmm. what is the daily fine because i remember one time you mentioned twenty one thousand dollars a day or something um, or a month or whatever well, it was that it was, was the epa that might have been with the water with the, uh, water, waste okay water. Right. that was wastewater yeah. sure right. sure okay no nope. right now is the state is uh would put more would be a moratorium on building on all building and then if that didn't do it, they, they would look for another avenue to, um, but I don't, I don't know of an exact dollar amount okay. fine. Yeah. Um, do you get a good feeling that DRA is going to just say yes, they have to do this? <laughs> We've been working very closely. <laughs> with Why would they say I, no? I, can't, I, can't, I don't know. I mean, I can't promise anything, but we've been working very well and closely with DRA. Sure. Wouldn't be here. Okay. Uh, sorry, just one last question. On, yeah. page, on page two of that, um, the top memo here, the, yep. the August 12th, 2015 memo. The last paragraph, uh, about one or two sentences in, talks about uh, while the finance director has some concerns, um, and then goes on to talk about the likelihoods remote. Do we have any examples of what some of her concern, her emergency concerns might be, or have we have his concerns were were that if we needed that fourth well. That if that emergency came up and we needed to withdraw the funds to all of a sudden start exploring and develop the fourth well, he between the time that I wrote this to the council, I wanted you guys to have the same information at the same time, and the actual presentation, Sean talked to him and he has no concern over that at this point either. Okay. That, that the money will, won't be, that the money will be there if we have, have an emergency. Okay. And a fourth well wouldn't come online for a lot of the money we're talking about. Yeah. Either. It, we'd have to go out to bond again. Okay. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome. Any other questions? Any other comments? I guess then it's up to make a motion uh, to approve the RSA 32 11 over expenditure request of the McIntosh Well Program project. So, do I have a motion? 
I will make a motion to. Mickey? I'll second. Second blue. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any nays? It is unanimous. So yeah. with that said, thank you. Sign away. Um, and then I guess at this point, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Second. Motion adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Thank you much. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> he can still sign. Yes. Just adjourned. <laughs>